All right. See ya. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. Yeah. The uh, Sanctify portion of, of the Robcast. I'm here with Alan Lowe. He is the pastor, one of the pastors at Men's Baptist Church. And he has been good enough to let me just do an interview with him and just kind of talk about his faith and what brought him to his faith. And um, so I, I just thought it would be pretty inspirational to share and to be part of it. So here he is, and this is pretty cool. Yeah, man, this is really cool. So I just want to start off. How um, did me and you actually meet? Because there's a little bit of a story. but Yeah, it's I... a cool story. It's a really cool story. You know, we had, um, we had been praying for our neighbors. This house was being built next to us. And, you know, when, we, when they first started doing that, you know, we're like, God, please just bring the right people here. You know, if they don't know you, open their hearts that they might come to know you. And if they do know you, Lord, let them be on fire. And, and, um, and I'll never forget the day that the moving truck pulled up and I was getting ready to actually come to work and um, popped over for a second and just introduced myself. And, and uh, you were there sweating because it was so crazy hot. It was yeah. all the summertime. Yeah. And, um, and I noticed in the moving truck, you had this collection of guitars. So right. immediately I'm like, so you're a musician and uh and you're like yeah yeah, yeah. and um and then uh, you asked me that infamous question so what do you do That's and i'm like here we go <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well i'm a worship just, pastor yeah. local church and um and you just you shared with me like really just wide open about how the lord had moved you guys down mm -hmm. to conroe and um and how specifically he moved you to that house Right. And I believe that was no accident whatsoever because, no, no, no. Um, you know, especially once we started talking and you're like, yeah, I'm a musician, went to church, was involved in church, got away mm -hmm. from church. But really, uh, we're coming down here. We want a new start. We want to get we want, want to jump in. We'll be there Sunday. And um, and you have been you haven't missed. Yeah. You haven't, you've been here ever since. Yeah. That's right. And um, and then you ended up playing the guitar with mm -hmm. us in the band, which yeah. has been awesome to have you. Uh, have you joined us in the band as well? So it's been a privilege. It's, it's yeah. been a cool story, really cool yeah. story to see how the Lord's worked. It's been a year. It's been about a year now that I've been part of the worship team and playing yeah. acoustic guitar yep. with y'all and um, just enjoying it. And we had, I mean, when you saw us and the truck pulled up and we had lifted the thing, I mean, we had just driven like over 3,000 miles from Seattle and it was quite the journey and, and we had really gone through it with escrow and, and wondering if we're going to get the house I and mean, all of our stuff's down here. Yeah. We have no house. And, wow. And, that's uh, crazy. I remember that was, story. You're like living in the hotel. Yeah. And man, we had been in like hotels for like over three months and just wondering, you, you know, we just sold everything in Seattle and just went down here by faith. We really believed that the Lord was calling us to be in, in Houston area. Yeah. And, um, and then he, the Lord planted us right next to the pastor at, at Mims, and we're and of all things, a worship guy, and I'm a musician, so it was perfect. I was like super thrilled. Yes, and uh, so it's been great, and I've just been, you know, my chops have been getting better as far as playing. And you have, man. I just I, I look at what you've done over the last year, and um, man, you're you're solid, dude. Solid musician, and you know, fit right in there with the team, and you know, it's just it's great to see how the Lord's used you. And, uh, and how the Lord's used your family as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we had that, uh, Rob invited us over for a gathering for his birthday. And um, we went over and there was a group of people from church. And, you know, it's just a blessing for me to see how you've become friends with other people and been integrated into the life of the church mm -hmm. outside of just the music ministry. And and um, that was just, it was just a blessing. And it's, it's cool to see how that how that's happened and how Tiffany is your wife Tiffany is, is gotten plugged in and meeting people and Dylan yeah. getting plugged in and, and what happened this last Sunday was really amazing. awesome. Amazing. Yeah. Really cool. Pretty, pretty amazing. Well, I just I'll keep it brief, but the story on that is um so my son, when I, I got done got done playing and, and Pastor Jerry was given uh, a sermon and and I went up there and Tiffany said, Well, Dylan just took off and I don't know where he is. I says, I says, are you serious? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, well, that's why I got up in the middle of the service and I went out looking for him. And uh, man, I could not find him. I was starting to, my head was starting to get kind of hot. And I was like, man, if I find him, he's, he's going to get it. And, and I was just <laughs> like, so anyways, 
So I'm I'm in this vein. I, I walked throughout the whole parking lot, the church, everything. And I was like, where is he? This is like, this is not okay. So I go back up and sit next to Tiffany. And then I looked up in the balcony and who's looking down at me, who's sitting in the aisle, my son. And he's staring right at me. I'm like, what is he doing? I'm like, oh, I'm like, Lord, I don't want to go through this kind of stuff with another kid. I, I just, with him, you know, I was thinking, oh, this is, this is not good. And well, what happened was, is that Dylan had asked mom, uh, like a few days ago, if he could sit with his friend during church. Oh yeah. And but he, he's in youth group now. Yeah. He's in youth group. Yeah, so yeah. he's, you know, almost 13. So he thinks he's 19. And so he just decided just to do it and not even say anything to anybody. And, and, uh, and so that's, that's what he did. And, uh, I didn't know that though. And Tiffany, you know, she, she didn't know that that was, he was going to do it this Sunday right yeah, now yeah, and yeah. not say anything. So, um, so when church service was over, he, um, he and Tiffany, I was up on stage uh, with you and I was getting my gear together. He is walking up with mom and I'm like, I'm steaming, you know, and I'm walking up to him. And I'm like, you know, she's like, hold on, hold on. Dylan has something he wants to say. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. And she says, he said, he said, said I want to give my life to the Lord. I want to give my life to Christ. And I was just like, I did not see that coming. I was like, in a million years, I did not see it coming. <laughs> so then I'm like, okay. So then we walked up and found you, and you were up here talking to some people, waiting for you to get done. And then Dylan, you know, shared, you know, what he wanted to do. Yes. Yes, and he was very clear. Mm -hmm. You know, when I, I was talking to him, and, and um, you know, because I'm, I'm like, He's a young kid, want to make sure that he knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. And every question that I asked him, I mean, he just, I mean, it was spot on, yeah. spot on. He knew exactly what he wanted to do yeah. and uh, wanted to ask Jesus to be a savior and wanted to live his life to follow him, wanted Christ to forgive him of his sins. And he wanted to be baptized and he wanted to be baptized. I, you know, even ask him, like, you know what it means to be yeah. baptized? And he's like, yeah, when you go down, it's representing your old life. When you come back up, new life in Christ. And, wow. you know, <laughs> Yeah. He's been paying attention, yeah. you know, yeah. and that's so awesome because I remember you guys telling me that Dylan had never been to church mm -hmm. before you guys came to men's. No, never. And that's yeah. that's the craziest thing ever. I just mm -hmm. I love how God puts every piece of the puzzle in place. Yes. You know, I remember when we were, when we were over at your house that day you know, and, and he's talking and he's like, yeah, you know, little kids shouldn't be able to read the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> Tiffany was telling yeah. us about this, you know, because she said he would literally go in at night yeah. and he would just read the Bible uh -huh. and not not a kiddie Bible, but like mm -hmm. read the Old Testament. And, you know, and he's reading about these sex. Things, well, of, sex course he want, he, of course, he's reading, you know, about Sodom and Gomorrah and, yeah. <laughs> and like they wanted to like the man wanted to sleep with the angels and stuff. And he's like freaking out. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah. So. Uh, it's been good. I mean, he's just been reading through that and probably yeah, it's, it's awesome. Just, I tell you, so it's cool. I see God's hand on his life. Mm -hmm. I really do. And mm -hmm. it wouldn't surprise me if, if God called him into some time, type of ministry or, or something big, Yeah, you know, yeah. because he is such a smart kid, super smart, but super uh, smart. has that, that ability. I mean, you know, he, I, I watch him, I see him in the service and he's listening intently oh, he is. to what brother Jerry's saying mm -hmm. and, and he's, he's paying attention. So, it's, yeah. it's exciting. Can't wait to see what God's going to do through that. But yeah. now God's just brought your whole family here. All he's done in a year's time. It's I mean, amazing. it's really exciting. Yeah. It was a fight. It was a real spiritual fight, too. Um, wanted to get plugged into a church that was sold out. Yeah. And I just was not seeing that where we came from. And I was like, it's time for a change. And Amen. we did. We literally sold everything and moved down here just by faith, we really felt, me and Tiffany both had flown down here a couple of times, feeling that God was leading us to Houston, but we didn't really know why. Yeah. So we came down here and stayed a couple of times and just drove around and kind of looked at the area. And so we're like, okay, yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. That's awesome. Oh, it's been great. It's been great. And your family has been great. You've been great. And uh, I really appreciate, you know, all the support. Uh, it's been it's been it's been hard, but to have that support and then this church is super on fire for the Lord.
Lord, and Amen. I have been yes. touched in these services, I mean, by the Holy Spirit, like never before dealing with me and helping me clean up my own life and, and yes. get straight. Amen. Yeah. Well, for all of us. And now I'm starting the broadcast, Sanctify. and Yeah, man, and this is cool. This is going to be one of my first videos, too. And I just released my first music video, Dining with Ghosts, and it yep. seems to be doing pretty good. And um, and it points to the cross as well, which which is really important to me. And I have Absolutely. a lot more coming. Sanctify. Yes. Can you, you hear that? Sanctify. Do you hear shame? Do you hear shame, Miss Rob? Sanctify. Can you hear? You want that camera in the shot? Yeah, I just kind of put it there to make it look like a. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Cool. Legit. <laughs>